we need to measure the development of a country, so we use development indicators. We have social, economic and environmental indicators of development. We also use standard of living. There's a dollar sign for that because it's an economic measure. We use something called GNI per capita, and we also have QML, quality of life. How happy is the population? That's a social measure. One of our first development indicators, birth rate, how many children are born per 1,000 per year. Second one is infant mortality. How many children die under the age of one per 1,000 every year, also social. We also have doctors per person. That's a social measure, how many doctors are there in a country. Literacy rate, how educated is your population, also social. And we also have access to clean water. Death rate as well. How many people are dying per 1,000 per year? If you've got a high death rate, you're going to be living in a less developed country. But there are limitations to all of these ones. Countries may lie about their data. Uh, the data may be out of date. So we need to use something else to give us a true score about development, which is why we use Human Development Index. This gives us a combined score about the literacy rate, education, life expectancy, and gross national income to give us a score between zero and one. As we can see, Norway, Australia, and Switzerland have a really high HDI score. Countries like Niger, Congo, Central African Republic have really low scores. These are LICs, those are HICs.